the lovely head coach, Karen Chisholm. Thank you. It's good to be with you again. Coach, after last night's game, you mentioned that you were a little disappointed with the way your team handled the little things. What do you think of the way your team responded tonight? I liked it. Okay? <laughs> we're very pleased. That's why the, the coaching staff, Tracy, Sean, and I were just talking. We said we're back. We're on the roll. The kids were very, very focused. Um, we just took care of business tonight. We never gave Georgia State an opportunity to be in the match. Madison Daigle just completely took over offensively tonight. How much does the rest of the team feed off of the energy that she brings every game? You know, it's, and she does bring it every game. Extremely proud. She has improved so much since last year. Uh, she's good. She's going to be an all-conference player. Um, but I think it could be any one of these five hitters. Uh, Jalea Bolin had a great match tonight. Um, and you could see Aaron and Aaron and Jalea, as you know, are our two seniors. And I think they've got something going because Aaron knows when things are going right with Jay, she's going to set her just like she did that last match. But Jay needed that confidence because she struggled a little bit last night. So it was nice to see her back in the match. You had a reunion tonight with the 2007 Southland Conference Championship team. What did it mean to you to see some old familiar faces from a time that just seems like it was yesterday? It was, and that's what they said. I cannot believe it's been 10 years. You know, but I've been coaching because of these kids, um, because of the personal relationships that we create. And it's always, we've stayed in touch. I see those kid kids, they're what, 29, 30, 31 years old now. Um, we stay in touch, but it's always, they have such a good time when they come back and get together. Because two or three of them are married, got their boyfriends or fiancés, and they, this was a girls' weekend. So I said, where's so-and-so? Oh, no, we left him at home. This is a girls' weekend. So they have a great time. They've got great memories here at Texas State. So it, it means all, all, everything in the world to me. That is awesome. The next two games, your team are on the road against a struggling UOM team and then a date with the Sun Belt That's Conference right. West Division leader, leader. In Louisiana. How important was it to get this win before heading into the home stretch at the regular season with seven games left? Well, particularly after last night, because I thought we struggled. I was, I, was, I was worried that we had peaked too early and maybe we were on a downslide. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, I think this, this production, this, the actions we showed tonight and had, I thought it was tremendous. And our confidence is back up high again. Now, it's, we're going to have two really good days of practice. We'll travel on Wednesday. We play Thursday night, ULM. Um, hopefully take care of them pretty quickly. But then, yeah, I, I don't want to look ahead to Saturday, but I'm ready to meet Lafayette, the Raging Cajuns. Always a pleasure. Good luck Thank you so much. Happy. I appreciate it. Y'all come back.